Manhattan, uh, had some snow and uh, got uh, everybody down here. We're excited for our first workout this afternoon and uh, great hospitality that's uh, already been given to us and uh, our kids are so thrilled for the opportunity to play in the All-State Sugar Bowl and uh, as coaches uh, we couldn't be more thrilled to uh, have the opportunity to play against a great team like Alabama. It's uh, going to be a great matchup on Saturday. We've got a lot of work to do. We've given the guys a few days off over Christmas and so we've got some work to do uh, this week in preparations, but uh, uh, without, without a doubt, our guys are excited uh, the way we finished uh, the season with the Big 12 championship and get an opportunity to play a great program uh, like Alabama. No, it really uh, doesn't. Uh, I think it's great. It's great for college football that the best players are going to play. Uh, in this game and, and we have a, a handful of those guys as well that uh, have elected to play in this game and that's, uh, that's what it's about. It's playing with your brothers one last time uh, for the guys that are going on to the next level and I think that's really, really important for, for our game in general. Yeah, they've got a number of things planned uh, for our players, a few things planned for our staffs and uh, for our staff and our wives, but uh, uh, yeah, we'll, we have our, our work that we've got to get done in the morning and afternoon, and then uh, the evenings we'll get a chance to uh, to get away a little bit and, and see New Orleans. Well, I think it's a couple things. One, it's the success for sure, and then it's the culture of our locker room. It's the leaders. You're going to visit with two of them in Cooper and Felix that are, are, are leaders on our football team. That uh, uh, These guys uh, started this journey back in January when we got back from uh, Houston in a Texas Bowl, and uh, this was part of that journey is to um, have a chance to, to win a Big 12 championship and play in a, in a New Year's Six game. And, um, our guys have been able to do that, and, and what a thrill for our guys one last time to go out. This team, you know, the legacy of the 2022 K-State football team is uh, something we're excited about to go one more time with this group. Um, you know, it's been so long ago. Uh, I think people maybe thought that uh, we weren't a very good football team. Maybe Tulane was pretty good. Uh, and uh, the fact that uh, both teams are playing a New Year's Six game uh, it was probably a pretty good matchup in early September. Yeah, you know, but that's, you know, I, I would say that about uh, any game. Um, you know, for us, it's about our conference. And for us to uh, go 7-2 and two in our conference and have a chance to play in the Big 12 championship game, our, our guys uh, never wavered, never panicked, no matter what. Uh, even when we were down in games or... Uh, lost, a, lost a game against a really good TCU team or Texas team, we bounced back. And, and what these guys have done on the road is pretty remarkable. You know, we, we win at Oklahoma, win at Baylor, uh, win at West Virginia. Uh, you know, we had some win at Iowa State. We had some big-time road wins. And in our league, winning on the road is really difficult. Well, um, we got to focus on us. You know, that, that's something we've talked about all season long uh, is focusing on us. It's all about what Kansas State does. It's about our preparation. It's about uh, us detailing our work. It's about us uh, making sure that we're attacking the process on a daily basis to get to, uh, to, to Saturday and play this game. And so, you know, everything, you know, uh, that we talk about is going to be in preparation to get to Saturday. Yeah, um, you know, uh, that's, that's a great question that's hard to answer simply because you, you never want to say, boy, I'm going to build this thing, it's going to take eight years. Typically, you're not going to get eight years. Uh, not very many people took a job and thought a pandemic would shut us down for 18 months either. Uh, and, and so when you, when you throw in the fact that we went to a bowl game in, the, in my first season, uh, and then the second season was the pandemic, and we had so many guys out like everybody else did, you know, kind of ravaged the, the football team. Uh, but then reconvening back in January of 2021 with the group that we had that went 8-5 and five and won a bowl game, and then uh, this group uh, to win the Big 12 championship. I, I don't know if you'd say we're ahead of schedule, on schedule, behind schedule. Uh, I'm just excited that uh, in the three years that we had opportunities to, to play 
full football, we've been to a bowl game, and each year it's gotten better. Yeah, uh, without question, you can see that when you watch, you flip on the tape and watch it, watch Alabama. They they dominate the front seven, you know, on defense, and then their offensive line's tremendous. Everybody talks about uh, oftentimes the skill players, but uh, they beat people up front. And uh, um, for us, it's going to be a big challenge you know, on both sides of the line of scrimmage. We have a lot of veteran guys on both sides of the line of scrimmage that know uh, the fist fight that it's going to be starting on Saturday at 11 o'clock. And so, um, you know, that's going to be a big, big challenge for us. Well, I, I just thought it was a good. I thought it was a good football team. Um, Coach Fritz does a good job. It was a good football team, and we moved on from that. I, I know, and we, you want to keep bringing it up. We kind of moved on from that one uh, and found a way to win the Big Twelve. Thank you very much. You bet. Thanks. Uh, players available for one on one.